Okay, to find the critical numbers, we're going to take derivative, set to 0, and solve. So, remember sine squared x, that means sine x squared. So the derivative of that would be 2. Leave that alone. Take 1 away, 1. And then derivative of the derivative of the input function. Okay, so the derivative of sine squared x is 2 sine x cosine x. Derivative of cosine is the negative sine. Okay, now when I set this to 0, the best way to handle this is to factor out my common factor, right, which is the sine function. And now I have, I use my zero product principle, sine x equals zero. And two cosine x equals zero, so I could solve that for cosine x pretty quickly. So the question is, where does cosine x equal one half? That should happen at 60 degrees, but also 300 degrees. And where does the sine equal zero? That should happen at zero. And again, at, oh, read directions carefully. We don't include zero, so it should just happen at pi. All right, how about this one? Same idea. Um, F prime of theta is derivative of secant is secant tangent. Derivative of tangent is secant squared. So again, similar to the previous one, I'm going to factor out the secant. And that leaves me with 4 tangent theta. Well, ah, we might as well factor out the 2 because we can. 2 secant theta. And then I got tangent theta, 2 tangent theta, plus secant theta. Okay, so this one's a little more complicated. Let's take a look. I use my set these to zero, use my zero product principle. Where does the secant of theta equal zero? And where does this thing equal zero? Okay, or of course, where is it undefined? We should also consider that because the tangent and the secant can, can be undefined. So one way to approach that in order to, to catch those undefined numbers if you don't really know the domain of these guys and we're on 0 2 pi uh, i mean i know i got a problem at pi over 2 for the tangent function but maybe we're not as familiar with secant so you can if you want write that as 1 over cos and then same thing here Okay, so we can leave out where is the all here's the good news the denominators are all cosine so cosine um, is equal to zero when right so that's that's when my derivative will be undefined when does that happen well that happens at um, on my unit circle if you if you are thinking of ways to remember this happens here and here Right, so that's pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. So there's two critical numbers. Um, and then what else? Well, this guy doesn't have any solutions, right? Because it's when you have a fraction equal to 0, you set the numerator to 0, and that won't give me any answers there. So I just get these two guys. And then over here, well, this one can be equal to 0. Right? We can add these together. 2 sine theta plus 1 over cosine theta equals zero again we've already taken care of that guy and now you just have to solve the equation two sine theta plus one equals zero or sine theta equals negative one half which would give you the values in quadrant three seven pi over six and in quadrant four eleven pi over six